Hi there, welcome back. Um, now let's uh, work on a specific case um, of projectile motion where we are trying to derive at what angle of launch of a projectile would we cover the maximum distance. For example, you're going to be launching missiles and cannonballs and all that, but it would be really helpful if we could actually determine as to what angle of launch would give us the maximum distance traveled. For example, let's say we travel, we launch at a distance, I mean at an angle of 15 degrees and this is the projectile. 30, let's go here. 45, goes this way. And then 60, goes higher and drops here. Then 80, here. And then 90, it drops this way. All right, so what we have to understand here, you know what, 90 may, be, may come back the same way as well. What we have to understand is we need to find the angle where the range covered is the maximum. So if you followed the previous lecture, we did derive the distance as x equals v naught squared sine 2 theta over g as the expression for the distance. Well, um, there are two ways of determining how, um, how much theta should be for maximum distance. Uh, the, the simple, the logical, and the, uh, maybe uh, the, the way of common sense is to see what, um, to see directly at this equation. How to maximize this equation, if you see. V naught squared over G is not going to be affected anyway. It's a constant. So if we talk about sine theta, if you talk about the sine function in basic, it goes from zero to nine, as you go from zero degrees to 90 degrees, the value of sine increases from zero through one, okay? So the maximum value of a sine theta function can be one. It cannot go higher than one, please remember that. So if we have a one here, it'll give us the largest distance, right? So if sine of 2 theta has to be 1, then 2 theta is 90 degrees, right? Therefore, theta is 45 degrees. So this is, this is a very common sense way to determine what theta can be for maximum distance. For example, if theta is anything less, it's maybe 20, 30, 40, uh, 2 theta would be 80 and it would be less than sine theta would be less than 1 so we're we're not gonna be able to give the maximum range well this is the simple way of deriving it let's look at a um, uh, you know when you go to university physics what happens is they ask you to derive the value of theta using calculus um, so even that is pretty simple how, how we can go about that is we use the rule of maxima and minima. So let's just talk about maxima here because we're going to be talking about maximum distance. If you want to see, if you want to maximize a function, the way to do it is, for example, we have x here, sine 2 theta over g. Uh, you have to differentiate this term. All right, because you have to maximize this term, so we have to differentiate this term with respect to the um, parameter that has to be adjusted. Uh, when I when I write the example, you'll understand better. So, anyways, v squared and g are going to be constant here. So, dx over d theta, right? is what you have to do to maximize this function. Okay? And one more thing, sometimes you might have derived, uh, let me put this in a box and a different color here. Um, hold on a sec. You might have derived x to be v naught squared, uh, 2 v naught squared over g sine theta 
cos theta. I would suggest that you take two sine theta and cos theta and make it v naught squared over g sine two theta. Uh, it's just simple to differentiate. You you avoid one more term to differentiate. So that's my suggestion though. So here let's try to differentiate this one. So v naught squared over g is constant. It comes outside and d over d theta of sine 2 theta. So what would it be? It would be uh, uh, d by d theta of sine 2 theta is cos 2 theta and the differential of 2 theta it would be 2. Okay, so the answer is 2 v naught squared over g cos theta. Now we derived the differential of x but what do we do with this now to maximize it well the rule of maxima is at any value of theta if dx by d theta becomes zero all right for any theta when dx by d theta becomes zero we have found point or condition of maxima okay so so some some theta at which dx by d theta will be zero that is our maximum function well that's the rule of it and we'll have to go back to calculus to really understand why for now just understand that so let's look at this now 2 v naught squared over g times cos theta has got to be 0. At what point would it be 0? You cannot tamper with these terms here, all right? So these are separate. So all we have to do is see as to when cos theta is 0. So for what theta is cos of that theta 0? Because sine goes from 0 to 1 when we go from 0 to 90 degrees cos just goes reverse cos goes 1 to 0 as we go from 0 degrees to 90 degrees okay so cos of 90 is 0 okay I'm so sorry this is cos 2 theta alright um, so so 2 theta is 90 degrees and therefore theta is 45 degrees. Uh, this is cos 2 theta. Please make that correction. I missed it there. Okay, so when so at 90 degrees cos 2 theta is 0. So 2 theta is 90 degrees and theta is 45 degrees. So this is the way to derive the angle for maximum range using calculus. You might find these questions in exams and tests, so just to let you know. All right, so now we know that when you launch any projectile, if it's at an angle of 45 degrees, your missile or cannonball is going to travel the largest range. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.